dear students in today's session let us talk about a chapter called complex numbers from this chapter you can expect at most two questions and at least one question in your karnataka cet exams complex numbers is actually originated from the concept of quadratic equations however z is equal to x plus i y is called as a complex number where real part of z is x and imaginary part of z is y remember both x and y are real numbers very importantly dear students modulus of z is given by root of x square plus y square amplitude of z is given by tan inverse of y by x conjugate of z is given by x minus i y if z is x plus i y z bar is called as conjugate of z that is x minus i y so that z plus z bar is equal to 2x z minus z bar is equal to 2i y and z z bar is equal to x square plus y square that is mod z square remember where i is root of minus 1 i square is minus 1 i cube is minus i and i power 4 is plus 1 and a complex number can always be represented in argon plane or complex plane where x axis is taken as real axis and y axis is taken as imaginary axis this you should have studied in your first year pvc talking about the properties of modulus modulus is root of x square plus y square mod of z is root of x square plus y square modulus of z1 into z2 is mod z1 into mod z2 modulus of z1 by z2 is mod z1 by mod z2 provided z2 is not equal to 0 and always remember mod of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to mod z1 plus mod z2 if or the z1 z2 are collinear then mod of z1 plus z2 is equal to mod z1 plus mod z2 coming to the discussions of argument argument of z1 into z2 is equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 argument of z power p is p times argument of z and argument of z1 by z2 is argument of z1 minus argument of z2 conjugate of z1 plus z2 is conjugate of z1 plus conjugate of z2 and conjugate of z1 by z2 is conjugate of z1 by conjugate of z2 these are few properties of conjugate modulus in argument of course dear students while explaining the problem i'll be introducing the other concepts also coming to the complex number representation complex number can always be represented in the argon plane with x axis as real axis and y axis as imaginary axis suppose mod z is equal to r represents what mod z is root of x square plus y square root of x square plus y square is equal to r means x square plus y square is equal to r square x square plus y square is equal to r square represents a circle with center as origin radius is equal to r argument of z is equal to theta represent tan inverse of y by x is equal to theta and tan theta is equal to y by x or y is equal to tan theta into x or y is equal to mx that means to say argument of z is equal to theta represents a line passing through origin mod of z minus z1 is equal to r represents a circle with center as z1 because z is equal to x plus i y and z1 is x1 plus i y1 so mod of z1 minus z minus z1 means x minus x1 plus i times y minus y1 under modulus is equal to r if we expand it properly we'll get root of x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square is equal to r or x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square is equal to r square y is equal to mx plus c represents a straight line with y intercept as c and slope as m similar kind of thing you can always write as amplitude of z minus z1 is equal to constant k but this is in one point form like this there are so many things that we can discuss about complex numbers coming to the very important part that is roots of unity square roots of unity are 1 and minus 1 cube roots of unity are 1 omega and omega square if cube root of 1 is x then cube both the sides x cube is equal to 1 therefore x cube minus 1 is equal to 0 that is x minus 1 into x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 x minus 1 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 1 that is a real root x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 means it is a complex root the roots are complex and x is equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 and minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 
Always remember 1 into omega into omega square. That is 1 is 1 and omega is minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2. Omega square is minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2. 1 into omega into omega square is always equal to omega cube. That is equal to 1. 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. And you can always represent complex number in rectangular form that is x plus i y form, polar form that is r into cos theta plus i sin theta that is r into cis theta that is another form and one more form is exponential form. x plus i y is equal to r into e power i theta or x plus i y is equal to you know, r into cis theta. These are the representations of complex numbers. I hope dear students you have followed this synopsis. Wherever, whenever possible we will be adopting these. I wish you to be prepared for the classes learning proper synapses. Anyway, while discussing the problems, we will be discussing lot of shortcuts. Please make a note of whatever I am going to teach you in the next part. Remember this dear students, always switch off your mobile while watching your program. Now let us discuss few problems based on complex numbers. The first question is like this, the value of z plus 3 into z bar plus 3 is equal in 2. There are four options, mod of z plus 3 whole square, mod of z plus 3, mod of z minus 3 into mod of z minus 3 whole square. Look at this dear students, z plus 3 into z bar plus 3. You can rewrite this as write z plus 3 as it is. You write z bar plus 3 bar you write. z bar plus 3 bar. Now that is equal to z plus 3 into c. I am writing 3 as 3 bar. Reason is 3 bar is same as 3. Conjugate of the real number is same number. Now you can rewrite this as z plus 3 whole bar. What is the rule we are using here? z1 plus z2 bar is given by z1 bar plus z2 bar. z1 plus z2 bar is given by z1 bar plus z2 bar. Now we have the rule p into p bar is mod p whole square. Is that correct? That means to say the rule is this. What is the rule we have used? mod p into p bar is mod p whole square. This is the rule that we have adopted. Therefore, for this option A is correct.